Hi smart people! Again, welcome to my channel. I'm actually about to sleep right now, but I realized I need to shoot this vlog for all of you. So stay tuned! Yeah. So how we can actually do the right research for for B2B companies like how we can actually find a very good lead through LinkedIn because we're talking about how we can narrow down companies that we would like to call. So this is for those you sales person executive looking for executive like yourself that you want to find a very good lead but you don't know where to find it like big enterprises so we're talking about like a thousand um 500 to a thousand companies like medium to large enterprises like sap like sap like ibm like oracle like name those big companies that you know those are the type of B2B leads that we are looking for. Now, how we can actually find the right company that we will get a close that, that is worth 10,000 US dollars, that is worth 5,000 US dollars, that is worth 20,000 US dollars. Those big companies that can actually invest and has the budget or has the money to invest that we can actually close. I've been in this industry for like a couple of years already and I'm doing this because I don't want you to make the same mistake that I did in the past or let's say as much as possible you can minimize or you minimize your mistakes and learn from me from my experience so I work with you know with with big companies with a thousand employees or even like ten thousand employees so my main industry is finding the right audience the b2b business to business and for the benefit of those who don't know what is b2b and what is b2c so b2b is a business to business and b2c is business to customer so what i normally do is the b2b or the business to business so we're in we close like more than a thousand US dollars, like two thousand US dollars, ten thousand US dollars, twenty thousand US dollars, and even fifty thousand US dollars. Like that is in a month time. Now, who are the type of companies who, who invest in events like us? So we normally organize events, and those big companies, you know, invest that huge amount of money. So yes our discussion and how we can find those big enterprises how we can you know deal with them and who are we you know the who are the the people that we need to talk to inside that organization because imagine if you have like around a thousand or ten thousand employees so imagine if you have you know one thousand or ten thousand employees in that organization who needs to be called like What's the level of the decision maker that you think could, you know, the right person or the right audience? In B2B sales, it's crucial that you know who you are looking for. Like B2B sales is business to business, right? So it's like big enterprises. We are targeting big companies like Oracle, SAP, Unilever, IBM, Accenture, those type of companies, those are, you know, what we call B2B big companies that you want to target, for example. So it's crucial that first you identify the industry, like what type of industry you are in right now. Like if you are in a technology industry, who are the big names under that technology industries? What solutions? So first is the the industries, like if you're in the technology industries. Second is that the solutions that they provide. Because if we're talking about 
technology. It can be hardware. It can be software. So that's two types. So you have to do your research before you use LinkedIn in finding the right company because I promise you, LinkedIn is very easy to use or to navigate, especially if you know what type of company you're looking for. So you can just type in the name of that company in Google, but I mean in LinkedIn, but you cannot find something that you don't even know in the first place, right? So that's why you need to first identify the industries, what category they are, and second is the solutions that they offer in technology. So if you're in technology, um, let's say web development or IT security or software development, or if you are in e-commerce from my side, like in e-commerce, the category is in e-commerce. And what solutions? Like for e-commerce, there's like digital payments, there's um, digital marketing. So you have to do your research before you check them on LinkedIn because LinkedIn will just show you everything. So if you will just, if you will type in, in LinkedIn the company name, it will show you everyone under that company. Like if you type Accenture, all the employees under Accenture and all the solutions of Accenture, it will just show you. And even in Google, if you're going to type them in Google, Google is your friend. It's like your best friend. You ask Google the right question and Google will give you the right answer. So if you are looking for a wrong company, then Google will also give you a wrong company. So it's very important that you know what you're looking for. You identify it, know the solutions. Since you already know the industries, like you are in the technology industries and you already know the solutions that you're looking for, like let's say you're looking for a digital marketing provider companies or you're looking for a digital payment provider company, list down the top 10 companies. Okay, it's very important that you know who are the companies under the top 10 or top 20. Why it's in top 10? Why it's not top 30? Why it's not top 50? Or maybe top 100? Um, the reason why we need to get first the top 10 companies, it's because these are the big ones. If you search it in Google, Google will give you those companies who is in the first ranking. So... It's the algorithm. Like if this company is, is always on number one, because of course, um, I I've, I've also have like a like little background about SEO and web development software, something like that in the past. So SEO is a search engine optimization. Now, if this company is showing number one in Google, like in the top page, like in the first page, which means that they have very good backlinks, like they have a very good reputation. They're a big companies because this company invests in SEO. They invest um, in marketing. So they want to always be in the top rank. Like if you search them or if you search a certain solutions, they want to be on top. They always want to be on top. And if they invested in their SEO and in their backlinks, they will always show in the first page. That's the reason why this top 10 companies will show on the first page of Google. So you have to get first the first top 10 companies or let's say top 20 companies under that category. So you need to be very specific with the category and solutions you wanna research. Either it's in technology, either it's in food and beverage, everything. Like this is applicable not only in my, you know, in my in my job, like in sales, but this can also be applied in your current job right now. Like if you're looking for something and you want to get the top companies for B2B, then you just type it in the keyword top 10 companies or top 10 to 20 companies under the solutions that you're looking for. So let's say, for example, you're looking for a digital payment. You just type in the top 10 companies who provides for the digital payments. And Google will actually show you those top 10 companies um, that provides for a digital payment, digital marketing, or whatever that you want to research. Then the next one is that you check this company by going to their websites. 
okay? You check their website. If they have a very good website, then of course they have the money to invest in website. You cannot, you know, put your website in that, you know, in the web if you don't have the money to invest, you know, in building up a very good website. So it's important that this company also have the money to invest because this is actually the reason why you're 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 researching the top 10 companies otherwise you know don't waste your time calling them or message these companies if you think that they don't have the money to invest in your offer or in your solutions that's good to know that you already identify which companies you want to target and you already have the names the top 10 companies that you want to you know want to message with or want to call with congratulations on that now the next tip is how can you reach this decision makers because definitely if this organization has 1000 or even more or 10000 you cannot call everyone <laughs> you don't have the time and basically it's not worth it to call a lot so the next step that we will need to do is to know who are the right target audience and this is where linkedin will give us or this is why i can say that linkedin is the best tool aside from google aside from you know my best friend google helping me all my leads in finding the right company but of course you have to do your part also by giving the right company to google before google give you the right results and before linkedin help you with the right target audience and with the right decision makers that you need to call okay so imagine if you are the owner of the company and you are selling certain stuff like it technology or let's say digital payment software solutions if you are in the e-commerce or if you are in um digital transformation or even you're in hr because right now that's the industry i am in previously i am in the infrastructure like you know building hotels building airlines airport i mean airport terminals it still applies as i mentioned to you all the industries it applies it's just a matter of um what industry you are in right now but it basically applies in all industries so anyway so let's go to e-commerce which is very fresh in my memory so you already know the companies that you want to call let's say um digital payments visa for example or mastercard so you want to close visa or you want to close mastercard if you are offering something to visa or to mastercard of course you need to know what you know certain products that you want to offer because definitely visa and mastercard has different department as well so if you are targeting for the digital payments then you need to target the people that is in charge in digital payments now if you are in the e-commerce definitely you need to target the one that is doing the all the branding and all the marketing of visa and mastercard but most importantly you need to know who is in charge for that certain department that who can actually make a decision but normally if it's like a medium-sized companies like let's say around 200 300 or 500 employees those are medium-sized companies normally the one who makes a decision are the ceos or the coo or the managing directors or the general manager but it has to be on the triangle like this it's triangle you see that it's triangle <laughs> it's not so triangle but it's basically triangle guys all right so triangle which means that what is on top of that pyramid like on top of the pyramid is the managing director or the ceo the one who decides for the organization like the managing directors then next you're gonna look for the general manager or the head of marketing normally 
um, it's either the CEO or the managing director or the general manager who will decide if it's a medium-sized company. But if it's a large company, it depends on the industries that you're looking for. So if you are selling um, a certain um, products to them, then you need to identify which department you need to call. So like, for example, from our um, B2B sales we are selling events so the one we're gonna decide if they're gonna attend or not are normally the one who heads for that certain region so next thing is you need to know which region that you want to target because of course these big companies are everywhere <laughs> like they're in philippines they're in singapore they're in us they're in everywhere across the globe guys <laughs> so you cannot call everyone across the globe <laughs> so this is very important that you need to know which region that you also target so if you target like in latin america or if you target in europe so it has to be someone that is in charge in europe because europe doesn't have to do with asia pacific or asia pacific if it's a big company they have their own entity or they have their own decision maker or they have a team who manages the asia pacific region or even the company the the country itself because for example if they have ten thousand employees of course you cannot find the ceo of that I mean i mean what i mean is you cannot directly reach out the ceo because that is a huge huge company and they have a board of directors they have like like chairman something like that so you need to call first the managing director under that region like if you target in the philippines you look for the country manager in the philippines or if it's regional if you offer for a certain region like whole asia pacific then sometimes their managing director in charge for the whole asia pacific is the one in charge for that region so first you must know the category that you're in second um the solutions then the the right the, the right uh list of companies that you want to target and the right people that you want to talk to so you need to write it down everything so it's it's kind of tedious to write everything but in the long run it will actually help you find the right company narrow down your research finding the right people because we don't want to waste out our time our precious time because as i've mentioned to you if they have like around 500 employees not everyone can decide you are the owner of your company sometimes if it's a small company or medium it's mainly the ceo or the owner who will normally decides but if it's a big company it's a lot of people like even five like like they have managing directors they have general managers they have country managers and they even have like a sales development head who is basically in charge for the sales side because the, it has like a sales side and it has a marketing side normally the one who holds for the budget is the marketing so do not neglect all the marketing heads and the marketing manager because <laughs> At the end of the day, they are the one who holds the budget and they will be the person that you need to convince with that they have to invest in your solutions because of this and those and that and etc. <laughs> so marketing are the one who will release the budget. But of course, with the approval of the salesperson or the managing director or the head of business development. So these two are you know the one who who greatly impact the decision making process which means that you need to speak to the two of them the managing directors sometimes the ceos will not directly decide sometimes the ceo will just approve it it's actually the marketing and the head of the business development or the the regional manager in charge for that region that will make the final decision and who will gonna sign the dotted line or the contract for your first ten thousand us dollars deal <laughs> or your first one thousand US dollars deal or two thousand US dollars deal um it depends on how much um 
solutions so what's the, what's the cost of the solutions that you offer once you are now in LinkedIn, so let's assume that you already have the company on top of your head that you want to check out in LinkedIn if he is the CEO or a hippie or she is the right, you know, people to talk to. You just go to LinkedIn and you can see filter like under the organization or under the name of the company, there is a filter and once you click filter it will show the the all the data that you want to know with that certain organization like you just need to put it in filter um it's like filter will make your job easier because you can type in there the job title that you want to to research like for example the ceo or the head of the marketing or the managing director you just put there under the title the ceo and you can also put their locations as i mentioned to you you need to know which region that you want to target so you put there um if it's in the philippines you put there philippines or if it's in u.s which country in u.s you want to um target so you have to know if it down as much as possible we need to get the right person right so you narrow it down and you just click there the industries that you wanna target of course and then you just click filter then google will i'm sorry linkedin will show you all the people just something like that so linkedin will show you the decision makers or the job title that you choose to to research i mean linkedin will show you the right audience that you put in in your filter so filter will make your job easier that is the best use of filter and you could also use the advanced search like you just type in there the name of the person to check if you know he is still in the company or if it's correct job title that you see on the website so by the way guys you also need to check their website like the company website because sometimes um it will display all their organizational um chart or their management all the names is already there so you can also check their contact us or you can manually search it in google again all right now you manually search it in google the let's say head of marketing visa or ceo mastercard or business development manager um sap or ibm then google will give you all the managing directors let's do some recap on what we have this cost <laughs> all right first is that you need to identify what companies or category you want to call want to do the research second is you need to know the solutions that you want to do again your research or the target audience and third is that you need to list down the top 10 to 20 companies under that category or much better under that solutions and next is that once you listed everything you need to know um their job title of the solutions that you want to do your research again in which region what particular region what particular solutions what particular department that you want to call or that you want to do the research that you want to target okay so that's just simple and then you go to linkedin and you just use you can use the advanced search or you can use the filter itself once you already identify the name of the companies you just type in the name of the companies and go to linkedin click their their company or their the name of their their company and under that you can find all the people and once you find the people all the listed um, employees just filter it so it will make your job easier okay and close that ten thousand us dollars deal and by the way guys if you can see on top of my head i was able to close like around thirteen thousand us dollars in one month thank you thanks to linkedin and thank you google for you know giving me the best search that i need so as i mentioned to you guys um just 
you know, just type in the right result. Uh, I mean, the right, um, you know, questions that you want to ask to LinkedIn or to Google and definitely they will give you the right results that you are looking for. So again, please don't forget to like and subscribe and click as well the notification bell so you will be notified every week with our videos and if you have questions or comments under you know linkedin like you want to know something about linkedin just comment it down below and i'll see you on the other side thank you and good night guys i will sleep now Mwah.